Today we're gonna make crochet corn and it opens up. Winnie, show us how it opens. <gasps> oh, can you show us so we can see? There we go. And it comes out. Show how it comes out. How do we eat our corn? <laughs> Keep watching to see the free pattern. So with our G hook and the yellow yarn, we're going to go ahead and make a loop. And we're going to chain three. And join with the slip stitch. If you've never done a chain before, go watch my how to start a chain video. And I go real slow getting you started on that. So we've joined with the slip stitch. Then we're going to chain two. And we're going to work eight single crochet all the way around. And I'm just going to go in the center here. Sometimes I go in the spaces around, but I don't feel like doing that. So go right in the center of that chain you just made, or that loop you just made. I'm going to go ahead and fuzz the end and hide this thread as we go around. So one, two, three. four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight single crochet and then we're going to go in and join with a slip stitch. So now we've got a little circle and we're going to chain two and we're going to work two half double crochet in each of those spaces. So for a half double crochet, we're going to wrap around, go into the space, grab some thread and pull it through. At this point, there are three loops on the hook and we're going to wrap around and go through all of them. And then we're going to do another one in the same space. So wrap around, go in, three on, wrap around, go through all of them. So two in each space around and we'll end up with 16 half double crochet. 15, 16, and then we're going to join with a slip stitch. So that's 16 half double crochet all the way around. And then we're going to chain two, and we're going to work one half double crochet in each space. So another 16 half double crochet all around. So one, two, and I won't make you watch me. I'll come back when I've got 16. Just one in each space. Did the 16 half double crochet around and you can see it's starting to curve up and that's what we want it to do because this is the end of the corn and it's, you know, it's rounded. And we're gonna join with a slip stitch. So we're gonna chain two and we're gonna work five double crochet in the same space. So one, Wrap around, go in, grab some thread. There are three loops, you go through two of them, and then wrap around and go through the next two. If you've never done a double crochet, go watch my video, I'll throw a link below. Um, one, two, and then we need three more double crochets in the same space. Four, and five. So you can double check yourself by counting. But we don't count that first chain two, and we're going to count one, two, three, four, five double crochet. And you're going to take your hook out, and you're going to put it in that first double crochet. This is the top two loops of that. And we're going to grab that, the loop that was over there and pull it through. And this makes a popcorn stitch. Isn't that cute? And that's how we're going to get that raised look for our corn. So I'll show you how to do that again. But that one popcorn stitch... And then we're going to just do a double crochet in the next space. And we're going to do another popcorn in the next space. So we're going to do five double crochet in the same hole. So in the same hole, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to 
to take out your hook and you're going to go into that first double crochet of the five and you're going to grab that loop and pull it through and it makes a popcorn. So what you're going to do all the way around, you're going to repeat this eight times. You're going to have um, popcorn stitch, double crochet, popcorn stitch, one double crochet. So you'll have a total of eight popcorns and eight double crochets rotating around when you're done with this row. So if you check it, I'm flipping it over where you can see easily, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight popcorn stitches. And I ended with the double crochet. And then we're going to go in and connect to that first chain two and join with a slip stitch. So grab some thread and pull it through. In this next row, we're going to do very similar, but we're going to chain two and we're going to start with a double crochet. So we're going to go in right where we worked that popcorn and do a double crochet. And then the next space, we're going to do the five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. And then don't go in that first double crochet. Just go in the first of the five cluster there. There we go and popcorn so you're going to repeat this all the way around and when you're done you will have eight popcorns and eight double crochets and then we'll join it up and then we're going to be rotating that so i did that eight times i did a double crochet a popcorn and if you can count when you're done you end on a popcorn one two three four five six seven eight popcorn and we're going to join with a slip stitch and those two rows you just did the first one was the popcorn, then the double crochet, popcorn, double crochet all the way around. And the next one was the double crochet, then the popcorn. We're going to repeat those two rows a total of six times. So this counts as one rotation and we need to do it five more times. You'll know you're done when you count um, all the way up your popcorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You'll be able to follow all the way up. So I'll come back near the end. So you've repeated those two rows six times, which means you've got 12 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of popcorn stitches. Um, now we're going to join with the little slip stitch. And you can see it's all hollow down the middle. And what we're going to do, because we don't want to spend any money, we don't have to, is I have some scraps here, like from sewing. Um, you could use lint from your dryer. Um, you know, get creative here. Something that's not too heavy. And I'm going to push that down in there. And that's going to give this a nice firm shape. Some random little threads from my serger. You could use polyfill. Tucking that all the way down in there. There's a piece of polyfill in my scrap thing. That's funny. Okay, now that that's in there, um, you can see it's a nice firm shape. It's going to keep that. finish up. What we're going to do is we're going to chain two. Got some threads on everything now. So chain two and we're going to work 16 half double crochets around. So all three on there. Go through all of them. You know, be careful you don't crochet your stuffing <laughs> into your project. So anyway, 16 half double crochet all the way around. 
16 half double crochet around we're joining with a slip stitch and now we're going to chain two and we're going to do one single crochet and then we're going to skip the next space and then do one single crochet and you're going to do that all the way around eight times so one two skip one three skip one four skip one five skip one six skip one seven skip one eight and then we're going to join with a slip stitch let's see we're starting to get closed up here we're just about done now that's just I want a little bit more stuffing in there because you can see that's uh, kind of a gap in there so I'm going to cut off another small piece here would not be the end of the world but I know if I don't put it in there now I'm losing all chance for putting it in there ever there we go we're going to chain one pardon me and we're going to single crochet one and we're going to skip two because we're getting really close to the end here. So one, two skipped, and then we're going to work one more single crochet. And then we're going to skip two. And we're going to do a last slip stitch here. Kind of closes all that up. There we go. And we're going to cut it. and tie it off and hide the thread on the inside and then we'll be working on our next part so I'll take the ends and kind of fuzz it and then because there's such a big opening on the inside we can really just try to get that hidden down in there it's gone so that's the corn piece and now we're gonna do the wrapper <laughs> 